हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर चैप्टर वन मोर अबाउट कंप्यूटर्स इंट्रोडक्शन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट द कंप्यूटिंग मशीन्स एंड जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इफ यू रिमेंबर वी लर्न जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दे आर फाइव जनरेशन इन कंप्यूटर today as you all know the development of computer is at its peak and computers are used in a large variety of areas of work when people think computers usually it's something like a laptop or your office computer that come to mind computers are actually all around us and can be broken down into separate categories depending on their size and processing power so children let's start with types of computer there are four main types of computer that are super computers main frame computers mini computers and micro computers super computers super computers are the most powerful computers with a huge processing speed They are the fastest computers available nowadays. Supercomputers are very expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amount of mathematical calculations. Supercomputers have a large main memory and a secondary memory. The speed of transfer of data from secondary memory to the main memory should be at least a tenth of the memory to CPU data transfer speed. uses of supercomputer applications of supercomputers are weather forecasting scientific computing electronic design to analyze large commercial database animated movies play games such as chess that require artificial intelligence main frame computers These computers are much bigger and faster than mini and micro computers and several hundred times more expensive. Main frame computers use disks of very large capacity to store several terabytes of data. The processing power of such computers is 100 million transactions per second. These are the computers where all the processing is done centrally and the user terminals only input and output and do not process user terminals are called dumb terminals nowadays a main frame is a very large and expensive computer capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously they normally use proprietary operating systems which are usually provided by the manufacturers uses uses of main frame computers main frame computers are used mainly by large organizations for critical applications typically bulk data processing such as sensors examples banks airlines insurance companies and colleges a main frame is the heart of a network of computers or terminals which allows hundreds of people to work at the same time on the same data it requires a special environment mini computer there were more mid size and multi user computers and more powerful than the micro computer of that time they were more capable of supporting hundreds of users simultaneously mini computers had faster operating speed and larger storage capacity than early micro computers they could support a large number of high speed input or output devices These are now obsolete uses of mini computer. These are widely used as data processing machines and in industrial applications. Micro computer. A micro computer is a small single user computer based on a microprocessor. Single user system 
means that only one person can use it at a time. In a microcomputer, the microprocessor is a chip inside the computer that acts as a CPU. These are inexpensive and have lower storage capacity as compared to other computers. This is the reason they are used as personal computers and commonly known as PCs. Uses of microcomputer In office, the PCs are used for word processing, accounting and for spreadsheet and database management applications. At home, the most popular use for personal computers is surfing the internet for getting information from all over the world, email, railways or airways ticket reservation. A microprocessor technology enables manufacturers to put an entire CPU on one chip. A workstation is like a personal computer, but it has a more powerful microprocessor. Workstation computers intend to serve one user but contain special hardware enhancements not found on a personal computer. Workstations generally come with a large, high-resolution graphics screen, a large amount of RAM, built-in network support, and a graphical user interface, GUI. Uses of Workstation It is used for the following. Engineering applications, CAD or CAM. Desktop publishing, DTP. Software development. In networking, Workstation refers to any computer connected to a local area network. It could be a workstation or a personal computer. Digital languages. Humans use language to communicate and different regions have different languages. Computers also have their own languages. The term computer language includes a wide variety of languages used to communicate with computers. Different kinds of languages have been developed to perform different types of work on the computer. Basically, languages can be divided into two categories. Two basic types of computer languages. Low level language. A language that corresponds directly to a specific machine. There are two types of low level languages. Machine language. Machine language. A language that is directly understood by the hardware. Machine language is the lowest and most elementary level of programming language. It was the first type of programming language to be developed. It uses binary digits 0 and 1 for giving instruction. High level language. Any language that is independent of the machine. Types of high level languages are basic, beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code, Fortran, formula translation, PL slash 1, programming language version 1, Algol, algorithmic language. C, C++, Java, etc. High-level languages allow a user to give instruction in the English language, which makes them easier to learn. Characteristics of computers Computers perform calculations or any other task at a very fast speed. The speed of the computer is measured in gigahertz. Many tasks can be done simultaneously and within the fraction of a second. Accuracy Computers are accurate in performing any task. The modern computers are so accurate that they not only detect errors but can also correct them easily.
diligence. Computers never get tired like humans. It is a machine performing millions of calculations and several tasks simultaneously with accuracy, consistent and constant speed. Versatility. Computer performs many types of operations related to various themes. Related softwares are available for specific tasks. It can be used to perform a variety of jobs with perfection. The same computer can be used to type letters, play a movie, listen to songs, surfing the internet, perform calculations, etc. Power of Remembering Computers have a large storage capacity, which is called their memory. It has the ability to store very huge amount of data and information that can be used later. Limitations of a computer Computer has no IQ. Computer is a dumb machine. It cannot do any work without instructions from the user. If the user makes a mistake while giving data or instructions, it cannot identify those mistakes and give a wrong output. You need to be very careful while deciding what you do you want and in what sequence as a computer cannot take its own decision. Computer does not have feelings or emotions, taste, knowledge and experience. It does not get tired even after long hours of work. Storage Computer can store large amount of data in its memory. The computer has an inbuilt memory where it can store a large amount of data. But this is a temporary storage. As soon as you shut down the computer, you lost your data. To overcome this problem, you have to store data in secondary storage devices such as hard disks, floppies, CDs, DVDs, pen drives, external hard disks, etc. which can be kept outside your computer and can be carried to other computers. Students solve this exercise in your textbook. First write filling the blanks. True and false. Name the places where these computers are used. Thank you.